Our water. Here comes our water, one or the other. This is how we do it here in the dry belt of the Philippines. 50 pesos per load. Look at this. What a job. What a deal. This keeps us alive. So here is the garden coming up. Daddy down there working, Papa. And you can see we got... Uh, Okay, we got beans over there, we got some cabbage, we got some um, carrots, which we're just trying out. We got the, the eggplant, which grows good, and the okra, which grows good. Okra grows real good. And the beans over here, and we got uh, some watermelon, some killer watermelon situations going on. A lot of tomatoes down there in that corner. And over there, I think, is the okra. And over here is our... It's our beans down there with the bananas and the watermelon way back in the core. Boy, watermelon's taking off and so is the squash. And look at those huge freaking uh, plants coming up. Those are the, uh, I think that's, I think that's okra. And here's our little, here's how we catch our water. And we put it in these buckets and they, and they just truck these buckets up. What was happening? He got too close to the carabao? Yeah, because the carabao will, will go. Will go what? I don't know what name, what call is that? And what's it, what's it is? Carabao. Show me how you do it. Do oh, he'll hit him with his head. <laughs> carabao don't like somebody coming around him when he's working, huh? He's supposed to be a good carabao and mind his manners and act proper. He's really well trained, amazingly well trained. Especially when he's tired. Especially when he's tired, she says, yeah. Each one of these buckets hold a freaking half of a drum, half of a big 20-gallon container, so they must be 10-gallon buckets. And we can fill these, they can fill. We got four of them out here at the garden, so we got enough for, uh, what do we have, 20, that's 40 gallons, or, wait a minute, 10 gallons. These are 20 gallon buckets. 20 gallons. Those are 10. Yeah. Okay. So 20 times 4 is 80 gallons. And that's enough to last just a couple days. And now we're mixing piss. One part piss to four or five parts water. Which is a whole new thing I just found out. And that's going to freak a lot of people out, but it's a great way to use our piss, and it gives it phosphate, potassium, and nitrogen, which is what these plants and all plants need. There we are. Taking him home. Any more trips? Oh, he's got, just going to bring the water up here. What's he doing now? Where's he bringing that water? We want the water down here. To U-turn. Just making a U-turn? Why didn't he drop the water off before he turned around? Huh? Holy shit. Freaking running over. Watch out. Oh my lordy Jesus. Wild ass action around this place. I'm telling you. Wild ass action. Oh, these are empty. Cool. So it looks like we got five. Sweet. What's that? Say la po? What's that, huh? A lot of dirt. A lot of dirt. That's what I figured he said. Look at the dirt on the caravan. Wow, how'd that happen? Was he good for him? Yeah, I know it's good for him. Okay, that's the end of this shot. That's the story on getting water around here. What's that, honey? What do you say? Translate. He wants to bring the horse to the water, or the big river. Yeah, go ahead. And what? Wash him or bring him back or what? Just leave him there to eat? Wash. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, Mayu. Okay, adios amigos. We'll show you how this garden turns out in about a month or so. It's coming up good.